What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Game of Do here. Welcome to you back to some more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last episode, we officially got announced that we are on the path of the true ending. Monokuma just told us that we are on true ending mode, which is very exciting but very nerve wracking because we have to not only prove that Monokuma was the one that killed whoever Monokuma may be, that's question number two, because we also have to solve all the mysteries surrounding the school. Yeah, I know. That's a lot. But let's figure out how we're going to do such thing. We're going to talk to Kyoko, figure that out. So you're going to go off on your own too, right, Hello. Kyoko? Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're going to go on our own our searches separately doesn't mean that we can't still work together. So... That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigating doesn't mean that we can't work together in the end. You should be able to... You should just I, I should just see it as splitting up to cover more ground and then we can get back together and share what we found. Yeah, that's right. So then. Well, I'd better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Monoguma said all the doors in the school had been unlocked, right? So we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny of the school. We can visit places that we couldn't go before. Makoto, Makoto no matter whatever what it takes, we have to uncover the truth by any means necessary. But that Kyoko was gone, leaving only me. I don't have time to waste either. I have to begin my search. I still can't believe the mastermind might be one of us. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove the mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of the school. And then we can escape all together. Investigation time. I guess I'll start by taking another look at the Ma Makuro's Monokuma file. Due to an explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed in a single time with all a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object with about a, an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Once we find out who killed Makuro Ikasaba. Then we'll know who the mastermind is. So then I should start my investigation to figure out who killed her. I guess I should start with the rooms that were locked up until now. The headmaster's room, the bio lab, and the door in the data center with the Monokuma face on it. Oh, and the second floor of the of the dorms where the gate was down before. That should be open now, right? After that, I'll have to double check the areas that are connected to the murder. Which means the garden and the dojo. Okay, time to get started. Places to check have been added to your truth bullet section. Jeez. Okay. So where do we start? I wish I could like review those places. I mean, I I say that, and I literally can use the the thing called I don't know. Um. Okay, this is I think where I want to be. The place. Oh, the gate's open. We can finally check the second floor of the dorms, which means. I have to do it. I mean, oh, this is the second floor of the dorms. Look like some form of ancient ruins. Oh no, it's more like a battlefield. Like a bomb blew up here and something or something. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the bath. They couldn't open the bathroom. Okay, that's a blood stain, a bed, and the door out. The bed is completely torn apart. I mean, it's not even a bed anymore. It's just garbage. I think I just literally went into, like, the random room. That literally means nothing to me. That would make sense. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense for me to run into the, the room that does nothing for me. Okay. Leave the area? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we did. Okay, this room does not mean a thing to us. Okay, there's a boys and girls bathroom. This is a really nice bathroom. What? 
There is nothing for me to observe in the bathroom. Hmm. Maybe I can go into here. It'll probably be like there's no use to me for me to go in there. Yeah, I figured as much. Okay. A cute giraffe in the locker. Okay. This room is filled with lockers. It must have been hope for the Hope Peak students that came before us. The class before ours, they must have used these lockers. It looks like the locker's already broken. Probably gonna be the same thing for all of them. Like the locker's already broken. Nope, locked. There's a card reader installed on the door. That must have been how the way to get the locker open. After all, it's pretty similar to the card readers for the lockers in the second floor of the school. You have to use your E handbook to open them up. Does that mean? Well, let's give it a try. I took my handbook and ran it across the card reader, and then, bzz, no luck. Maybe only the locker, only the locker's owner could open it, which means that none of us can do it. I wonder if I can open this locker. Nope, locked. That's it, okay. There's two rooms down here. It's like a lounge area. This is cool. This room doesn't feel like any like a student room. It has more of an adult atmosphere. Correct. It's the headmaster's private room. Kyoko. Indeed. I've been through the room several times already, but I still have one little regret. So I decided to check out one or check out check it out one more time. Huh? A regret? Kyoko looks almost meek right now. She must be thinking about something. I probably shouldn't bother her. There's alcohol. Of course we get the chair, but not the alcohol. Whatever. Look at the chair. A chair. I can't imagine the student using something like this. It must have been the headmaster's. Oh, I can't even look at that. Okay. What an interesting take, though. There's a straight up alcohol there. The desk is a home comp to a computer. It must have belonged to the headmaster. That's. I was going to try and go in here. I wasn't trying to leave. Huh? There's a strange gap in the wall. There's some kind of design mistake or a construction defect or something. So... There's a gap here. But just not like any normal gap. I can feel the breeze coming out. A breeze? There's likely an open space on the other side of the wall. Open space? Does that mean... You mean like a hidden room? I think I might know how to open it. You think you do you know how to open it? Did you figure out some kind of trick or something? Indeed. A very easy trick, yes. So easy. I'm not sure you can even call it a trick. I saw a program on that PC that I think controls it. Either the right password or the door should open it right up. However, But I don't have any clue what that password might be. We All we know is that it's made up of letters and or numbers. We can't really go anything anywhere from there. You're right, that's not nearly enough in, to true. go on. I looked through the, his paperwork and all the files, the PC, and everything I could think of. I learned more about him than I had any desire to, but nothing that might have been his password. Mm. When I think about how much time I wasted on this... Which is the regret I mentioned. There's a PC on the desk. It must have belonged to the headmaster. It would seem... Whoever used it last 
It looks like they were interested in the ultimate despair. The PC still has search results left on it. Then we might be able to get some info on the ultimate despair. However, There's not much though. Nothing we don't know already know. In other words, the ultimate despair isn't an individual, but instead points to some kind of group. That group is responsible for the tragedy, which happened one year ago. They're the worst sorts of people whose driving force comes from despair. However, and that's all there is. Not much to it, is there? But I guess it's the best he could do as a complete kickery failure. But any information on the mastermind is helpful, right? I appreciate whatever the info we can get our hands on. I see. That's a good outlook to have. The ultimate despair has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Jeez. So there's a hidden room she couldn't get into. That's what she meant by regret. I think we can assume that there must be some kind of clue waiting in there. Maybe for her, there's more to it than that. Anyway, if we want to get out of here, we need to figure out the password. And if Kyoko can't figure it out, no way I stand a chance. No, wait, there might be a chance. The password could be something Kyoko wouldn't have thought of or something that she didn't want to think of. For example, what about your name? What? Huh? Oh, sorry, I didn't... I was just trying to think of what the password might be. I'm sure she hasn't tried it. I mean, it's totally understandable. After the way she talked about her dad, the idea that he would use her name as his password, knowing what who how she is, I bet the idea never occurred to her. Um, do you mind if I try it, just to be sure? Well? It's not like you need my permission. If you want to try it, try it. Do whatever you want. Okay. You know, I'm glad I thought of trying Kyoko's name, but if that's not it, that might even hurt Kyoko more. Hey. If you're worried about me, Makoto, don't be. I already know that your guess is wrong. Okay. In that case, here goes nothing. I collected myself, then turned the, to face the computer monitor. Let me just type the password here. I typed her full name, Kyoko Kirigiri. My hands were tense. Slightly trembling, and I finished typing it in. Beep. What? That did it. Kyoko, it worked! Why? Kyoko. Without looking at me, she disappeared in the hidden room. She looked grim. Kyoko! Hey, Kyoko. I may as well not even be in, have been in this room. Her gaze was fixed on only one thing. A, a, a present? Wrapped and covered with such joy? That made, what, that's what made it so unusual. There's a brightly colored box here. It totally seems out of place. The more I look at it, the more suspicious I get. Should we open it? I'm kind of getting a bad five from it. But I mean, we can't not open it. Okay. Makoto. Be careful, Makoto. Why? Do you think it's dangerous? No, not dangerous. But surprising, probably. Huh? It would seem... If it's what I think it is. At the very least, it's not something you'll be happy to see. Wait, so you know what's in there? Anyway. Just don't scream or anything, okay? Are, are you saying if it's something that'll make... It's saying you're, it's something that will make me want to scream. Okay, I'm just going to open it. Watch it be like a bra or something. Step by heavy step, I approached the box. Took a deep breath, and I took hold of the lid. Slowly, ever so slowly, I lifted it up. Light began to sneak its way into the box. I stole a hesitant glance inside and... <laughs> Kyoko's advice was no use. I let out a trembling cry. Whoa. What was in the box? It was bones. Human bones. It was the last thing I expected to find in such a bright, joyful box. I mean, who could have possibly imagined? I see. Just as I thought. What? What was in the box? It was wrapped up all nice, so I never would have guessed what was inside. Human bones. 
Hiyoka said, just as I thought. I had to find out what she meant by that. Just as you thought? How could you have known that? I mean, there were bones in there. Human oh. bones. Well, it's not that I was thinking of the bones specifically. I just had a feeling it would be his body. That's pretty much the same thing as a dead guy in a box. My father. Huh? What about him? Correct. What you found in the box. Those bones. That body. That's my father. Or at least, what's left of him. Are you serious? This is Kyoko's dad? The same man she's been searching for? Hold on. How can you know that for sure? How do you know that that's him? So... Given all the information that we already... That we have already... That's the only possible answer. So the same person may very well have been the mastermind who planned all of this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach. I know. Okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you already, but... This killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students, and the only people to take a single step in Hope Peaks Academies since the killing game had begun are those 16 students. Alter Ego said that the headmaster was probably still here in the school, but the only person, the only ones who were alive at the start of the killing game was were us 16 students. When you put those two ideas together, it doesn't take much to in assume words, that most likely... My father was in the school, but he was also dead. That was my assumption anyway. As Kyoko explains her analysis, she she was completely calm. Or no, she wasn't calm. She was trying to only seem calm. She said that it was an, just as she thought, so she knew it was a possibility. But it was hard to... I, had a, I have to believe at some point she wanted to be proven wrong. Which is why she never looked in the box herself even though she had plenty of chances. I know Kyoko said that she wanted to see her father so she could cut off all ties, but that was that all there was to it? Would she really give up all her pride just for that? I couldn't help but wonder. Hidden room present has been added to the truth bullet section. Huh? This picture? It's all faded. It must be pretty old. Wait, that's a picture of... Hey, Kyoko. Why would you... Well, this is annoying. I came here to cut myself free from the past, and yet... To now find something like this? So what do, what do you expect me to do now? Then I was right. The picture of Kyoko when she was a little girl. Knowing the headmaster had his this picture all this time, he must have clearly cared about her. Why? Why? What? I wanted to face him and tell him myself to cut out him out of my life for abandoning me. That was the whole reason I came here. And now he's abandoned me again. And that this time, he stole the opportunity I had to move on. Has there ever been a worse father? Kyoko. The photo of Kyoko and the headmaster has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. This filing cabinet seems to have the kind of place you'd find a clue. I should take a closer look. But I don't think Kyoko would like to like some stranger to be touching her dad's stuff. Hey. It's fine. Check whatever you want. Are you sure? Okay, then. I went through each drawer one by one, starting from the top. But all I found were piles of unrelated documents. He was a pretty dedicated to his job, huh? Well? It's just because he did, didn't have anything else. He could only have inherited our family business, our legacy. He could have inherited our family business, our legacy. But instead, he left it all behind. Wow. Uh if he couldn't handle a job like this, he would have been so much more of a failure. 
but I'm sure he couldn't stand the thought of that, and it made him desperate. The headmaster's desk. It's probably hiding some kind of clue, so I really want to check it out, but I don't know. Want to, I don't really don't want to touch Kyoko's dad's desk without her permission. Hey. Don't worry about me. Feel free to look around as much as you like. Are you sure? Because... Never let anything get in the way of an investigation. I don't. Okay. Then if you don't mind. Starting from the top, I opened the desk drawers and I looked inside. I rummaged through each one, finding nothing un but unrelated documents. But in the last drawer... Huh? Is this... It's an e-handbook, right? And the label on it is in case of emergency. I found something kind of emergency handbook in the headmaster's desk. In other words... A handbook with no limitations. Given to the school's ultimate authority, the headmaster. I'm assuming that is what it is. I think you're probably right. It, seems... it might prove useful as we continue our investigation. Why don't you hold on to it? But Kyoko... I... I don't need it. If you don't want it, go ahead and leave it here. Th then I guess I'll take it. Is it really okay? Headmaster's e-handbook has been added to the truth bullet section. Hey. Listen, Makoto. Huh. Can I ask you a favor? A favor? What is it? So... I know it's completely unreasonable to ask you this. And I know I'll, it'll only inconvenience you that much more, but... Hey. Could you leave? Huh? Correct. Just for a little while. I'd like to be alone for a little bit. Kyoko. Don't worry, I'm fine. I just need to calm down a little bit. Just a second. I need to get my emotions in order. You know, Kyoko, you told me that before about the relationship you had with your dad. How you're only connected by blood, not by heart and soul. But maybe that picture motivated him. Maybe he hoped to see me again someday. Is that what you were trying to say? If so, it's just a theory. And this isn't an issue that could be settled with theories. A picture doesn't change the fact of what happened and what I went through. I... The problem can't be solved so easily. You're right, I'm sorry. Anyway... Once I've gotten myself under control, I will return to the investigation immediately. So please, just give me some time to myself. Understood. Then I'll see you later. she really okay? Kiko must have been a complete shock to her. I mean, it was a shock to me. To find what happened to the headmaster? There's no doubt in my, the mastermind performed that evil deed. They killed the headmaster. Killed Kiko's father. They killed him. The headmaster is dead. The one leading Hope Peak Academy, the one who finalized the plan to oscillate you, was the Hope Peak's headmaster. So the same person may very well be the mastermind who planned this all out. According to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. Seems possible, likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. But we were wrong about that. The headmaster wasn't the mastermind. Which means the mastermind's true identity. <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know. But enough... Okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure you've been told this already, but the killing game was between 16 participants, all of them high school students. The only people to take a single step in Hope Peak Academy's killing game has begun. Are those 16 students? 15 of us met in the main hall. Add Makuro, and that mix, and you get 16. That included, and including me, only 6 of us are still alive. Everyone else is dead. Even Makuro, she is undeniably dead. So that leaves, so the ones left are still left alive are me, Biakia, Hiro, Toko, Hina, and Kyoko. Only those six people are left alive. And then there's no question. Wait, no, that can't be. 
I refuse to believe it. There has to be some other way. There just has to be. I'm not sure. I have a feeling that the evidence is going to pile up to mean or to be telling us that the only one left. Hmm. Well, we can go to the data room now. And the mod technically the Monokuma room is where we want to go. Hi, Hina. Hey, Makoto. Hey, Makoto. Are you here to look around, too? Is that what you're here doing here? Mm. Yeah, I can't help but wonder about that Monokuma door. Yeah. So I figured if all the doors in the school have been unlocked, then that one should be open, too, right? Uh, Although I couldn't bring myself to open it. Because it might explode, right? That would really suck. So you open it. I'm sure she didn't mean it. But she made it sound like the only way... Or she was okay with me getting blown up. I'm pretty sure she didn't mean it either. But it is Hina after all. She does say something, things, things in a weird way. Okay, so I guess I'll open it. Oh, wait. Let me take cover first. I don't want to get exploded. Hina raced over to the nearby desk and hid underneath it. Okay, go ahead. Everything will be okay, right? All right. Heroes nothing. I threw all my weight on it, but the door opened. But the door opened way much easier than I expected. There was no explosion, thankfully. My first impression was... Whoa! This place is totally sci-fi! Yeah, I was kind of getting the same thing. Is this a room that controls Monokuma? That's 100% what this has to be, right? There's some kind of hatch on the floor. But right now, I'm more concerned about that weird device. What is this device? It looks like some kind of control panel. It's really over the top, though. Like some kind of military installation or something. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of like a mech cockpit, right? Hifumi'd probably freak if he saw it. Cockpit? So the Monokuma room had a control panel that looks like some kind of cockpit. Then that could mean... Okay. All right, let's start poking at it. Whatever, I'm going to start pushing buttons. Hold on. You can't just do whatever. Something like this. But it was too late. Hina already was jabbing at the control panel. Huh? huh? Did you hear that? Yeah, I think that came from the other room. Hina, what did you push? <laughs> I'm not totally sure, but I think that was the one... Or I think it was one that said the button... Or I think it was that one button. The button that's a data center? Data center? I took, a good, I took a good look at the control panel. It saw a bunch of buttons with a name of each room next to it. Like Ina said, it was labeled data center. That must have been the one she pushed. But the data center is right next door. That room we were just in. There was a strange noise that it came from it. It pr I'd probably better go check it out. Yes, please. I'm kind of scared out of my mind here right now, so I'll just cheer you on from over here. Did I just hear what I think I heard? Is that Monokuma? Hey. Oh, give me your donuts. Is that you, Hina? What? what? I, uh, man, busted. How did you know? Anyway, what's this? It's some kind of remote control camera kind of setup. You don't know, even know what you're controlling. Well, I mean, I can't really see anything from in here. Uh, I guess I, what I, I guess what I found. A self-destruct button. Whatever you do, don't push it. Aw, oh, man. You were, what, you, are you seriously going to push it? Anyway, I guess that settles it. That's the room with Mon the Monokuma, the room with the Monokuma drawing on it, and the control panel inside. Do we go back in there, probably? Ah. Whoa, hey Makoto, what the heck was that just now? Monokuma? Huh? Huh? 
What do you mean? What you were controlling just now. It was Monokuma. Huh? Monokuma? Oh. Wait, for real? Yep. It looked like that panel definitely controls Monokuma, which means the mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. Yeah, they were definitely in here. The mastermind had been controlling Monokuma from this room. And the control panel, or and this control room is totally separate from the data center. And with all the monitors, in other words. Hey. Maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Kyoko's theory was right. Hey. But if the mastermind is controlling Monokuma from here, that means they were inside the school this whole time, right? I guess that would have to be true. But if that is true... Then the mastermind Monokuma's puppeteer really is the sixteenth is the sixteenth student. No, it can't be. There's no way, right? Monokuma control room has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Um What's wrong, Makoto? I don't like that your face of you're making. Oh no, it's nothing. Oh, okay. What about you? Is everything okay? I mean Oh, well, it's just this is where the mastermind's been hiding, right? Who knows if they set up traps or something? I can't say that isn't possible, but I really hope it's not true. So, like, you want to leave soon? There's a lot of other places to check out. Yeah, good point. We can't waste our time standing around here. Okay, you want to get going? Yeah. Click. As soon as the door to the data center was closed, I heard a strange sound. What was that? The door just locked on its own. What? My hand shot out and grabbed the door to grab the door knob. Rattle, rattle. You're right. It's locked, but why? Of course it's locked because the data center is now restricted. M Monokuma. Hey, no fair. You can't just go around restricting whatever you like. It's for your benefit. Because if that room stays open, I won't be able to move around. Imagine how depressed everyone would get if the school mascot just up and stopped moving. Then that room. Yep. You may have guessed it. That's where my controls are. Um. Yeah, right. So right now, you're being operated by someone in that room. Yes, Correct, Amundo. You're a liar. But that doesn't make any sense. We were just in there and we didn't see anyone. <laughs> oh, you didn't, did you? <laughs> are you sure you were going or you were as thorough as you could have been? Did you happen to check a certain suspicious hatch? No way. The hatch on the floor. <laughs> ah, too bad. It was your one big chance and ya blew it. Too bad. Of course, the hatch can't be open from the outside anyway, so whatever. Mm. Now then, this room is officially restricted, so no more investigating. I'll be relying on you guys to tell the others. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. Um. He's gone, but... Was he telling the truth? The mastermind was hiding in there. In fact, if you think about back to when we got locked out of the control room. That proves it for sure. Huh? Then when I said we should leave. Well, that hatch couldn't be open from the outside anyway, right? It's not your fault. Right. Okay. Anyway. Don't let it get to us. We have to stay positive and make the most of the time that we have left. You're right. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's keeping my body moving. Okay. okay I'm going to go run around and tell everyone what we found here. Nice. You've got me all motivated again. Okay, out of here. See you later. The only path that we have is forward. That is correct. We have two more rooms that I remember. Biakia. This is the headmaster's room. I've heard an awful lot about it, but this must be my first time seeing it for myself. Hmm. Ah, Makoto, it's you. Oh, Biakia. <laughs> well, you came to the right place this time. Would you like to see something interesting? 
What do you mean something interesting? Take a look at this. It was at, at the top of uh, uh, it was on the top pathetically ostentatious desk. Class seventy eight student registry. It contains a profile of all of us and Makuro. Oh, Apparently, class seventy eight refers to us. Wait. When we found Makuro's profile in Kyoko's room. I see. That's right. It also mentioned Class 78. This must be where Kyoko got that page. And since the rest of our profiles are listed in there, along with hers, there can be no doubt Makuro was a student here at Hope Peak Academy, just like the rest of us. Makuro Ikazaba, the 16th student. That must be how Kyoko learned about it. It must... It, but it seems that Kyoko was in a hurry. Huh? What do you mean? I was talking about when she stole it. The uneven tearing, the way that the paper had been crumpled, she must have been in a hurry. Well, since she snuck in to get it, I'm sure she wanted to get out as fast as possible. But what's your point? She was in so much of a hurry, she only got the first page. The first page? Correct. Makuro's profile contains two pages what so in, other words, in other words when it comes to this profile there was more information about Makuro than we did that we still didn't have what kind of information is it why do you ask me to explain every little thing you can just read it can't you seems like there's a detailed report to put together by the headmaster himself I don't know what kind of man he was but I'm glad he left such an interesting clue I was half listening to Biyakia as I skimmed through the report Makuro reappeared suddenly in the background as an entity floats, close but out just out of reach, the entity known as the Ultimate Despair. Right now, I can't be sure if this is a single person or some kind of group, but whatever it is, Makuro definitely has some sort of connection to it. I have a bad feeling about all this, and I need to push forward with my research into the Ultimate Despair, and I need to pay attention to Makuro's behavior too. This is just my gut feeling, but I think she's dangerous. Despite countless battles she has gone through, as a member of Fenrir, or Fenrir, when she entered Hope Peace Academy, she didn't display any signs of battle wounds or scars. The fact alone proves her tremendous skills in battle. Naturally, I want to believe her. She's one of my students, after all. But if I decide that she's a danger to the other students, I will be forced to take all responsible measures. Makuro was part of the ultimate despair. I don't think there can be any doubt about it now. But wouldn't that mean that Makuro and the Mastermind were allies? So why? Why would they kill Makuro? Plus, even the headmaster seemed to be afraid of what Makuro was capable of. They would have been, would have had to be to take her out completely by surprise to kill her like that. Or maybe it means the mastermind is even stronger than Makuro was. What? What's wrong, Makoto? Huh? You seem to be lost in thought, but I should probably point out one other thing. There's another important bit of information within the file that you should note. Well, what is it? Hmm. Did you notice the picture in there? A picture of a girl perhaps you'd never seen before. The girl who seems to be included is part of Class 78. That should be enough for you to figure out who this girl is. And further information about this girl is included in that file. 5 foot 7 inches, 97 pounds. It even lists her vitals. 31, 22, 32. Okay, that is not her vitals, but okay. Well, what do you think? What do I think? You're asking me, like, if she has a nice body? You're a hopeless idiot. What I'm trying to tell you is, maybe you'll want to keep that in mind for later. Maybe you'll want to make your way back to the corpse, and maybe you'll think, Oh, could that mean... Wait, is he trying to say... There's a chance the body isn't actually Makuro? Is that what he's saying? Personally, I th what, I think, what I'm thinking seems all but impossible. But it wouldn't hurt to confirm, right? That's all I'm trying to say. Would you want what you do with that information is your business. I'm back, so I'm back to being Biakia's errand by Biakia's errand boy. Macro's profile has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hmm. Oh, and one last thing, it's a bit of advice from me to you, so I suggest you pay attention. Advice for me. You seem to be getting along with Kyoko quite well. It's not that you're getting along. She's just done a lot to help. It's not that we're getting along. She's just done a lot to help me. Hmm. Well, don't put too much faith in her, huh? Another the cost of faith might be more than you can afford. Well, what are you saying? J just what I think. I call it a hunch. A hunch. But my hunches tend to be proven right, so the advice is free this time. Take it or don't, as you will. I'll keep it in mind. Thanks. Well, 
that's yeah i think that's it for this episode um the next episode oh wait no 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 hold on wait 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 oh that's the chem lab we've seen that so in the next episode we will be investigating the three things on floor five and seeing what possibly could be leading us down the rabbit hole of death and despair love y'all bye